Bonjour, bienvenue sur le circuit de la Sartre, which of course is the Le Mans 24 hour track. Now why am I on this track? It looks a bit funky. That's because it's an R Factor 1 track that's been ported into a set of Corsa by Tiago, who is a member of the Portuguese Sim Racing Group, and I've forgotten the name of that actual thing, but they run a series and they've got a website. Now the question is, and what's interesting, uh, is just how well an older track looks in a new game engine. Now bear in mind, uh, he's only literally just, this is like the second version he's put up, uh, so it's not finished. It's very much an early release of the conversion. But it'll be interesting to see how sort of big the track bumps are, how the track drives, even though it is a raw conversion. And I, I'm, I'm not too sure on converted tracks in general for a set of Corsa. I mean, in some ways, you, you're going to have to rely on conversions, especially early on, to be able to race a track that you might want to just race on, especially if you've got if you're running a, a league. I don't know the layout here, and I can't see over the hill. Especially if you're running a league and you want to race on. Oh, it's not that way. <laughs> okay, that's one thing with early release tracks, is. Uh, the floor has to be built first. <laughs> so, if you're running a league, obviously you're going to need to use converted tracks until either the developer releases an official one, or a you know someone makes a new one from scratch, or, or really does update a previous one. The bad thing with tracks, I think, that are released, especially conversions, is often they're of a really low quality, or they're from really old games, and. Uh, as a result, the, the track mesh is not enough; doesn't have enough detail to work with more recent physics engines to take into account the track bumps a bit more. But the other thing is that you often end up with something. Oh, it's this way. Something that confuses the product for people coming to a driving simulator afresh. In the, they'll want to just jump in the game and race online. But all the servers will be running custom content, and not just any old custom content, absolutely random custom content, which can make it really hard to join a server. Now, because of the way the AC server system works, as it is right now, it's not too bad. There's a lot of servers, and you can generally see if it's running a modded track, and you can grab that straight away. You only need to get the one track for that session, so it's not too bad. But I could see how it might be a problem in the future. But, on the other side of it, I love having custom tracks to drive on. And it's not too much of an issue for me. But that's the th if you're new to it, then I think it is really confusing. Hopefully the developers can keep releasing really high quality tracks. Uh, especially like if they, if they d distinguish their tracks as being laser scan, for example, which a lot of modders won't do. There are a couple of really good laser scan tracks, but most modders don't produce laser scan tracks so maybe the developer can distinguish that and they'll be of a high enough quality that more people will run them on the servers and as a result people coming to the simulator for the first time will see oh hi well, you know they come into the server for the first time coming to the game for the first time they'll see the service and it'll mostly be full of the developers tracks or their high quality laser scan tracks the lighting seems to be working all right on this, but the, the texture brightness is a bit funky. It's, I've set this to evening, but everything's it's as if a nuclear bomb's gone off on the horizon. <laughs> it's surprising, though, how reasonable it looks, considering this is essentially just a direct port from the R Factor 2 mesh. I don't know what he's used to transfer it and then put, put it into the AC engine. The bulk of it is working all right. Can you imagine driving this track for 24 hours? It's been a long time since I played this. Actually, I did used to play R Factor One quite a lot, especially on the with the Megan Trophy car on the uh, Bros Megan Trophy and the R Factor Central before uh, R Factor Central got killed off by Sim Raceway. Well done, guys! You killed a good website there. Um, <laughs> but. It must have been years since I played this track. I think the version I did play was a, a, a 
the old, the classic layout. Look at that <laughs> nuclear bomb glow there. The track mesh seems to be working all right with the car. Obviously, visually, it's a bit funky, but the, you know the textures can be replaced. If the uh, little bit more detail was added to the road surface, and uh, to give it a little bit more texture through the steering, and the texture in general need to be updated. And the trees need to be updated, but the basic layout of the track seems quite nice. Just needs that polish. I wouldn't if this was released in say Game Stock Car, not not in its current state, but with our updated textures um, and some of the assets changed over. If it was in Race Room, for example. Oh dear! <laughs> you have to cool the car down a little bit more for that. Yeah, if this was re released in uh, one of those titles, as is, but with better textures and a little bit of polish, in terms of the basic road surface, you wouldn't really complain that much. So it's surprising that a track that's so old for R Factor 1 actually is fairly decent. But they are, I mean, it's really a statement about the quality of the work that of the guy that first made this track, really. And you do get some really nice tracks for R Factor 1. Oh, wrong way. I <laughs> don't want to fall through the floor. I'll be really interested to see with this set of Corsa if it's a good platform for endurance racing as well. I think the only real sim that supported it properly was uh, GTR 2, which I think even had uh, driver swapping uh, and you could save mid-race. I think R-Factor 2 allows that now. Uh, I'm not sure about driver swapping, but you can you can save your progress, I think, and uh, reload it back up. So if you wanted to sort of reenact Le Mans 24, I think that's an option. But I think it was GTR 2 is the only real sim that supported it properly out of the box. For me, though, it's not really my sort of track. I guess if you're, if you're racing with a lot of other people, proper GT style, and you've got lots of cars to overtake, and the different the different speeds of cars from the, the slower GT cars to the, the prototypes, then that makes it really interesting, especially if you're doing it in a longer contact. You don't have to do a 24-hour race, but if it was like a three or four-hour race, and you're running different setups and strategies, then I think that could be quite enjoyable. But as a track in and of itself, just for basic driving uh, it's not really my sort of thing <laughs> to lose it on the curbing but yeah see it seems all right it's a good start as I say it's early days this is just a this is the first version he's put up I wonder if I can drive through this railing no <laughs> the first version is put up um, so yeah it's, it's interesting It'll be interesting to see if converted tracks do become popular in a set of course I don't I think uh, Kunos has said that they 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 don't mind people making mod tracks obviously but they want people to do original tracks and they don't want people to port from other games uh, which means if this if this is from obviously it's probably a mod track for Half Factor 1 I don't know who originally did the very first version but if they you know if they've given permission and they weren't they it's not a licensed track by another developer then Presumably, this track will keep getting developed and uh, everyone will be happy with it in the game. But that's the Le Mans 24 track for a set of Corsa, ported from R Factor, the R Factor 1 version. Should have really found out who did it originally, but as I said, it's Tiago that did this version. So we'll have to check it out as it progress, progress, progresses, as it progresses. And who knows, maybe there'll be some good league racing on it in the future but thanks for watching this video um, it was a bit disjointed and uh, let's see if I'm gonna fall through the floor partly because it's one in the morning and my brain is uh, flopped out of my head after playing Battlefield for the heist hardline <laughs>
<laughs> terrible FPS. If you're really sad and you like cars, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the like button and then click on more videos below, you know what to do. Goodbye.